Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. In this webinar, I'm going to talk about uh, research purpose statement and uh, this work is based on Criswell and Criswell, 2018. And the book is about uh, uh, research designs, qualitative, quantitative and mixed methods approaches. So uh, to start with, I'm going to talk about uh, first uh, definition of research purpose statement, uh, the placement of this research purpose statement within research because many students ask where to put this research purpose uh, uh, and then um, we are going to see together an example or rather a script and this script is going to be identified in relation to the types of research purpose statement and so there are three types uh, which are the qualitative, quantitative and mixed methods uh, research purpose statements and then conclusion and references and the references that I use in the current uh, webinar. So to start with uh, as a definition I would like to say that uh, research purpose statement is the intent of or, or study aim or the objective of the study that guides the reader that is it, it provides sense of direction in the study. It uses action verbs such as develop, explore, examine, generate or discover so it, this depends on the type of research design and then uh, beside this we have words that are used to denote the strategy of the study uh, especially in qualitative uh, designs it can be this this design can be ethnographic phenomenological uh, grounded theory or narrative approach so it depends on the design as we are going to see so uh, it's placement in research, so according to Criswell and Criswell, and uh, the latter cited to uh, Wilkinson, uh, as well as Kasteta and Hessler, uh, you can see the references at the end of the presentation. So it can be placed in the context of the research question and objective, or be framed in the research problem. So these are the common uh, placements of the research purpose statement, and usually found in, in, in the introduction. Okay, so remember this, it is based in question, or objective, or research problem. Uh, okay, let's move to its script, that is an example. So uh, we can say that the purpose or study aim of this stat study, for example, case study, ethnography, grounded theory study, etc., uh, etc., et is, uh, if we are talking about it exactly, or was, if we are talking about it in the conclusion, uh, or will be if we are talking about it in the introduction to either understand so you can say understand or explore phenomenon or generate theory or discover uh, certain facts etc uh, and then uh, the central phenomenon that is of the central phenomenon and which mm, say or name this phenomenon being studied for and we state the participants uh, at or in the research and we state the research site so these are the basic elements of the uh, research purpose statement. So we remember this, you can even include it in uh, research proposals if you want to uh, apply for some grants or uh, PhD programs or masters, etc. And then we are going to move to uh, types of research purpose statement. So according to Cresswell and Cresswell 2018, uh, they talked about three types of research purpose statements uh, as cited in page uh, or pages 173 to uh, 190. I'm talking about the fifth edition of this book. So we have the quantitative research purpose statement, the qualitative research purpose statement, as well as the mixed methods research purpose statements. So these are the three common types of research purpose statements. So in the quantitative research purpose statement, so uh, it states the theory being this tested, the variables in their description, relationship, or comparison. The independent variable should be positioned uh, first uh, by the, uh, or followed by the dependent variable. So which means, that, uh, this means that we should put the, the, the independent variable first, then uh, this is going to be followed uh, by or with the dependent variable. So let's move to the qualitative research purpose statements. Uh, so uh, such type uh, or this type requires the researcher to identify single central phenomenon and tentatively, uh, tentatively define it 
Action words such as discover, develop, understand, or understand are used. So this depends again on because it's qualitative, so we can choose one of these. Uh, directional language is avoided, so we can try to be not biased, except in cases where we are obliged to, or we have a sense of direction of the study, uh, or the study we may take, because the assumption is that we don't know what direction the study will take unless we conduct research. That's why we should avoid directional language to avoid bias in research. So, the strategy of inquiry participants. So, I already talked about the strategy of inquiry, it can be phenomenology, uh, that is to study phenomenon, that is how single mothers live or how mothers whose sons, for example, suffer from cancer leave this phenomenon, or uh, ethnography, that is to live with the people in a site, describe their behavior, culture norms, etc. And there are, in fact, different types of strategies of inquiry. And so participants, again, and research sites uh, should be identified. So it depends on each type of the research design. So if you have case study, as I told you, we have ethnography, we have phenomenology, and we have grounded theory, that is theory grounded on data, that is out of data. We try to develop patterns, trends, and theories. So these are the, this is the, t the, th the second type. This the third and the last type is the mixed methods research purpose statement. Uh, so uh, th this includes statement of uh, the intent type of mixed method design such as can be this can be convergent, explanatory, exploratory, and complex, and it forms of quantitative and qualitative data collection as well as analysis. Uh, besides the reasons behind collecting both forms of data, so you have to read about the mixed method uh, research design strategy. We have we have the convergent design, and we have the explanatory. That is, we provide quantitative data and then uh, we provide uh, uh, qualitative data to explain this. Or the exploratory, we start with qualitative data to develop a research instrument and then try to genera generalize the findings to a wider population. So this is called exploratory. In case we don't know about uh, the something, uh, something or phenomenon, uh, sometimes we have open-ended questions. And complex, this complex depends, which means that we follow a pragmatic stance of our research. We don't have much information about uh, what strategy to adapt. We can adapt them both uh, together, two or three, depends. So this is the complex one. Uh, so as a conclusion, I would like uh, to say that research statement uh, guides the reader and delineates the scope of research. Hence, it is important in research proposals, dissertations, and articles. The researcher should think carefully of the research purpose statement behind conducting any study, or at least mm, try to read preliminary literature or conduct uh, exploratory study to identify uh, or even talk to friends, family members, or everyone concerned with the study to identify this uh, purpose uh, statement because it's really hard when the researcher does not have much information, especially at the beginning stages of research. So as uh, for the references, we have, these are the three references that I've used. You can copy them and uh, read them. And if you have questions, do not hesitate to post them below. See you in another tutorial.